Hello everyone, it's Amy and I'm back to do part 5 of my room tour and this is going to be my desk. I think that this is probably going to take us two videos. So we're coming into the art room, making our turn, and this is the start of where my desk area is. I heard the frugal crafter once call hers the cockpit and I really like that analogy. So because that's basically what I have here. Everything circles right around me and I try and keep everything that I use the most very close at hand and in this area I only craft by myself so I don't need anything bigger. Um, I think that maybe I'll just pull my chair out of the way and then we'll start right over here on the left hand side. We'll do the top part first and then if we don't have time I'll come back and do the bottom. Here I have, um, these containers right now are empty, and then these containers hold all of my seed beads and little flat back um, crystals. And then I have my Pearl X powders along with the little ball, you know, the beads that don't have holes in them. And um, with my powders I have the Pearl X and I also have the LA Colors. If you want to try the mica powders and the pearl X and stuff are a little too expensive for your budget, do the per, do the these are LA colors from the Dollar Tree, and you can also get them at all different kinds of dollar stores for like a dollar. And these work really well. They work as far as I'm concerned just as well as the others. And mica powder is mica powder, and that's what those eyeshadows are is mica powder. So you can always use those if you want mica powder. Here I have a Rolodex book that is completely full that I just stuff ideas into when I have something pop into my head. And then, you know, we have lists everywhere, so very rarely go back to them. I have a little basket here with old scissors that you can just run in and reach over and grab them. Um, and those are more for like, you know, if my family says, I need a pair of scissors, they get to use those. So here is just a little crock that I have that I keep my... Um, the video quit but we'll just keep going. So this is where I keep um, all of my pit pens for doodling and that type of thing. And then as we come across I have a couple of fine liners that I just got and I'm going to fill those with black and white. I love to watch the Mary Altelier and um, she uses those all of the time. And then underneath of that or behind that I guess I should say I have um, my Pearl X powders that I got a set of them and um, so those are all in there and then these are my this is my color chart here in the front these are the fluid um, my fluid wax with the mica powder and um, then above that I have a bunch of little uh, nail polish flowers that I made and then these little discs here all the way across these are my um, you just draw the cards and it will tell you what to use and what I did I made up all of my own and basically what I did was I just went through my art room this one said add, add shapes cut from book pages but what I did was I went through my art room and I did things like okay I have Pearl X powder so I put down use Pearl X powder I put down use sprays or use this or use that or you know I put down the things that I have instead of taking one with other people you know like what they have because that way no matter what I pull I can actually do that there's a picture of Papa and I a few years ago and then this is starting where I keep my acrylic paints and so much more um, credit card offers that you get in the mail if they're plastic I keep them and there's AARP cards and goodness knows what in there my water brushes and a white pencil and then just all different types of odd paints that I have like just one or two of that I got on clearance somewhere and then this container is a spice rack and it'd be hard to show I think but let me move these there we can come in from the side this is a spice rack and I've turned it upside down you know usually you would put your spices I set these down um, you know it'd be turned the other way and it's like steps and you put your spices here and here I flipped it over so that it actually had this um, 
compartment and it still stair steps going the other way but that way if my paints were to leak they would leak into the plastic instead of running down the shelves and everything so I have a small one in the front and a larger one here in the back this one is I think three or three steps I think and um, and yeah I just put those there and I use that to hold all of my acrylic paints and right now I have a bunch of them pulled out but when those are full then they wind up getting stacked with other stuff on top so there's the other side of my desk where I have my larger paints over here I had all of my sequins but I took those out and put them in a different caddy that I made because those were too small to hold the larger sequins and then underneath of that I have a little drawer unit that has different types of um, hardware type things in it and then I just have my little Norman Rockwell guy painting himself with a foam ball head. I bought it that way. I had bought some a bunch of the little ceramic things and that one came that way and I absolutely loved it with the foam ball head so I kept it. My black and white paints there on the end and glow paints. So then I have these little units in the back back here and right now those have things that I just don't hardly ever use. There's a wooden dapping block in there but my metal one is over on this side. Then there's extra um, q-tips in there and then extra alcohol hinks below it next to that is some crocheted flowers that I did that eh, I'm not good at crocheting yet so just kind of in there I'll use them for something a little box that I made and then all of my medium sit back here in this corner my yes paste and liquitex all of that type of thing and my <coughs> excuse me my gesso and I just bought a gallon of gesso so I filled up that and then back here I have a whole bunch of jelly jars that I filled with the with the gesso and then I put plastic wrap on top and put the lid on um, because the I got the gesso on clearance because it had a hole in the top but the whole stuff had squeezed out and the hole was sealed with what had squeezed out so the gesso itself was good but I did have to find something different to put it in and then back behind there um, there's just more of my mediums and small paints that you get at the hardware store the sample paints that you can get so then I have this um, rolly cart I couldn't figure out what it was and then I finally figured out I got it at Kmart when they went out of business um, I think they hung the earring things on there and so um, originally I couldn't figure out what to use it for and all of a sudden as I was cleaning up my room I decided that I wanted all of these really at hand because most of them were in small boxes and that type of thing so on the top I just have some Martha Stewart paints and all of this stuff all came like I get all of it on clearance I don't really buy much in the way of full price items so and then these little fireworks I got at the little craft store that's a clearance store by us and they were like a dollar twenty a piece and I tried them today and they work really good and then I just have some stencil paints and some now there's some twinkling h2o's in the back some silks here and then all of my delusions paints that I just got and a couple of more silks in the middle because I didn't have room and then down underneath that are my metallic lusters and Inca golds and what I like about this is I can just turn it to get to any color I want to so that I don't have to try and like pull things out and and, and grab what I want so that works really well oh and then this is really cool you ought to check this out these came from the Dollar Tree they have little this one has glitter here on the tip and then this is fingernail polish and when you pull this top off I'll lose the top where can I find it let me put it against here it has this little fine tip and you just squeeze this reservoir and the fingernail polish comes out can you see that little tip in that little fine metal tip so you can draw with it you can write with it and um, I get the top back on I don't want it to dry out so I just have four of those right there they had four colors so I got all four these are little spray bottles that I had and I picked up um, bingo daubers which is a really stainy kind of um, liquid so um, I wound up putting the different colors that I, I just got different colors at the Dollar Tree and I just poured them in there because they make a really good stain next to that I have again this is my all of my paints in here and then down below that these are all of my 
findings for jewelry and then behind that back here is another one of these these are actually too deep but the ones in the back don't have anything in them right now but I got those on clearance for three dollars a piece so I bought them and then I just built this wooden stand it holds up my paints and then it holds those too deep um, so that I would have a place to store them and then this one and there's another one next to that that have um, that's all just like a hardware type stuff so and then this is my little rolly that I have I think it's for the kitchen or something but this is just where I keep all of my permanent markers well just different kind of markers as we go around then we've looked at all of that this is my tripod with some of grandpa's necklaces on it that he likes to buy and let's just start by going up above that are some ATC's that I had in an artist swap years ago and so I have those there and then I just have for some reason I love the embroidery hoops I don't use them but I love them so whenever I see those at the Goodwill Clearance Center I always pick those up and then up here is just a display it has some of my naturals up there um, I used to do fairy houses um, where I used the wooden all of those wooden tree stumps and it would have different levels of where their houses were and everything a couple of violins that uh, my son-in-law gave me and some other those are what we always called Chinese money when I was a kid I loved those I love the way they flit when it's windy so those are up there in the corner but yeah these are just things that I really loved so they're just up there for display just for decoration and if I ever decide to do another fairy house I've got my wood there and then coming back down to the shelf some necklace stands um, that I had for some necklaces that I made some more ATC cards my ones from Nina Rabina some that I made a while ago some from other people and then back in there is kind of storage way back up in there those are all um like to hold pictures you know the little a-frame stands and just a pretty little fan that I got at the dollar store some flower tops from small flowers that I pulled apart and used parts of them and then just put the rest there and then back in that corner is mostly just um, like a little decorative there's a suitcase that I redid quite a long time ago and um, and then way back in this corner where you can't see back there that's all of my basically what I call my poisons things like rubbing alcohol and um, oh what do you call it the one that cleans sticky stuff off of gooby gone and just things like that you know hairspray um, turpentine whatever that I have I keep way back in the corner where I know no kids can get to it if they come in the art room this is just a whirly that I got that I think held cards so I made boxes to fit in each one of these and then I just use I just put my like most used things here my paint pens my tapes um, these are all cutters of some sort mostly um, yeah what do you call them the little blade cutters and then those are um, extra pokey tools I get those at Harbor Freight when they go on sale because I use them all the time and then just some extra markers all of my rulers are here and on these ones I made I didn't put a box here I just put that to hold them up and put a box on the next one down so that I had a longer space to put like my rulers and then those are the extra pens here's pens and pencils and I actually have one there that I emptied out a little while ago and then this one only has a box at the bottom and goes all the way up and has my newspaper tubes that I made um, that's what I made my turtles out of that I showed in video three I think and then just small glues and more tape uh, some Indian ink and all of my uh, yeah you know what those are tweezers and then a little bit more tape and we're back to the beginning so and then in the middle of that you can put a few more things so I like I've got a magnifying glass with a light on it there and a few other extras down in the middle I have my out light here which has just miscellaneous tools and everything in it and um, then here is my desktop which actually I was just playing with those uh, fireworks sprays for a project that I'm working on so those are sitting there drying and I have a little um, 
that was made out of a ribbon spool and I use it to hold sewing needles and there's my glue holder um, that just is just a bottle that's been like decorated and actually it kind of melted down because um, I was trying to I was trying to heat it and it kind of melted but it wound up being pretty and then here's my um, scissor holder that I made and then this little cup is just a whatnot catch-all when I'm working on things. This one holds my um, little felt pads. I have water, stamp cleaner, and then another um, glue holder. Because I like thick glues, and they're such a pain um, if you don't store them upside down. And then this is a little caddy that I made to hold my larger tools that are always taking up space. I've got my heat gun. My ATG gun. Underneath that is a little cup that holds my um, silicone type things. On the end is my roller cutter and then glue gun and and that's a glue melter which has some odd shape. I haven't really figured out what to use that for but I got it at the Goodwill warehouse so I picked it up. But so that's like the top of my desk and we'll go to behind in the next section because I'm already at 14 minutes so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we just finished the top of my desk, and now we're going to do the unit here behind my desk. Um, I just built this little, oops, got the tripod in the way, this little um, shelving unit, and I just built it big enough to fit the depth of these little um, containers that I got at the Dollar Tree. So, um, and I think that's one good suggestion is whenever you um, have containers get your containers before you get your units even if you're buying them so you know what you have to store and what size you need because that makes it a whole lot easier um, but in here I just have more of like the LA colors this is more of the LA colors there's my glitter and embossing um, pans um, these are just a bunch of little glitters and these are more um, little type of glitters and then I have just a little bottle of bleach. This is just an eyedropper, and so is this one over here with rubbing alcohol. And just make sure whenever you use reuse something like that, peel the label so that nobody would try and put something like that in their eye. These are just little sponges that I have for my inking. And then this one is just um, the blocks to hold... My phone keeps wanting to quit. These are the little blocks that hold the felt uh, for your blending uh, for the alcohol inks. And then over here, this is all just different sandpapers and um, things to rough up your paper. Down below, I have things that get in the way here. Down below, I have my gelatos. And with the gelatos, I just went ahead. Let's see if I can take these out of here and show you. For the gelatos, because they wanted to fall all over, I just used the foam core and I just went that way and then this way and just made it so that it would hold them um, so that they all stand up instead of being all mixed up in there. I like that to be able to do that. This is just a little um, tool kit with tiny screwdrivers and stuff in it. These are uh, liquid pearls and then different types of the jacquard what do they call it the lumiere paints and these are just shoe polishes that i thought i might be able to use but they seem to come out like they don't work um this is another distressor for paper i got that at the goodwill store actually I got it at the goodwill warehouse so it didn't cost me 49 cents and then in here these are these are flocking powder and then these are just some more of my la colors like I said, I've that's what I started with, and I've used them a lot, and they work very well. My handmade stamp, and then in here, these are all just flocking powders. And I'm really having fun playing with those, too. And then next to that, I have my alcohol inks, and then I have my distress. I think those are distress stains or paints. Those are the distress stains. And then next to that, this is all nail polish. And then down below that, this one is also all nail polish. And I just get that at the Dollar Tree. And I've never really painted my nails because the second I paint them, I start peeling it off again. So, but I do, um, I really like to use it in my art. It works very well. It's an enamel, so it works really well. 
these are just some these are the distressed paints and then a couple of other little daubers that I got in a D stash this is a little box I made for flower parts and um, just put my little flower parts in there these are my homemade alcohol inks that I made with the Sharpie markers and um, then my stays on cleaners are in there in my Adirondack alcohol blending medium these are all of my glitter paints mostly the uh, Studio G and, um, and then I got some of this Zazz from Tuesday mornings next to that is just some bobby pins powder and Vaseline and then down on the bottom which I don't ever really get to these are just um, actually that one is empty next to that is some um, crayons and some coffee filters and that's pretty much it there's not much back there except back in this corner uh, my dapping block is back there along with my hammer so because that works really well and um, so that's the top of my desk then as we come around to the other side over here I just have um, that's the uh, the Kmart stand there sorry about the glare and so this is on the other side of that I keep all of my large tapes there duct tape double-sided tape um, and this one the yellow one that's heavy-duty double-sided tape that I got at Menards for like four dollars so if you need heavy-duty double-sided tape you can always try doing something like that it's in the carpet department um, you know it's probably not acid free so if you're looking for something acid free it's not that but if you're just looking for it to to play with a project um, you know you can always sometimes find something that's a lot cheaper than the craft stores over here I just have some magnets and then my um, embossing powders and in this little cabinet I have all of my embossing powders little spoons to scoop it out with and then I just have some more VHS tapes those are um, museum tapes about different art museums and then here I just have my little teddy bears and then I do keep my glue back here. I am a glueaholic. I love glue of all sorts. And so I just keep them here. I'm going to kind of come around this other side and show you how I store them. Because I have three little round baskets like this. And what I did was I just filled it with paper towel holders, toilet paper holders. And then this is like, I think, off of like, um, like a aluminum foil or something so those are smaller only as big as like these little small ones and um, I just put them in there and tape them together so they wouldn't tip all over the place and that's where I keep my glues because I like to keep my glues mostly upside down if they're being used if they're new they can store up right side up but um, I have three of those in a row and that's what I keep all of my my glues in and I really like how that holds them so we'll come right back over here where we were and then down below that I have these are little seven day pill reminders that came from the Dollar Tree and I made little holders for them I also keep all of my little clips and these clips all came from the Dollar Tree you can get them in like sets of six or whatever but when you're trying to hold something together while it's drying these work really good and they have all different sorts so these are eyelets and then over here are really teeny tiny charms and then a little elephant pin and as we come down this is a, a cassette an old cassette holder that holds um, all of my stamping pads and I really find that I use the distress pads more than anything else so but um, what I did was I did use a a little stamp and stamp all the colors so that they're easy to find and I store them upside down and then below that is where I keep all of my those are my spectrum noir markers which I've really never used only just a couple of times um, and then all of my pencils are here so and I just made this little holder that holds them and it they each have their own shelf so they're not stacked on top of each other but um, those are my uh, different graphite pencils and ink tents pencils and then these are my ink tents blocks underneath that I have a really old set of my colored pencils from I don't even know how long ago probably 40 years ago and then over here just also um, you know 
my graphite mediums and my graphite lights and um, I have regular colored pencils and then the metallic colored pencils and the watercolor pencils and that type of thing there so those are all I like to kind of keep everything in the same spot and then just some oh, those are just drawing pencils there so that's what I have there and then as we come over I do have a small thing here of paper uh, eight and a half by eleven cardstock and then this unit here I got at uh, my grocery store they were throwing it away and so I just built it had three long lines well, actually I guess I had six because it does have a support across the middle and then I just put more supports in there to hold um, these little containers from the grocery store and in these I keep my stays on I keep those upside down and in another plastic container just so that they don't dry out we do usually heat we didn't this year because our fireplace was broken but we normally heat with a wood stove and um, so I like to things like that that could dry out I like to try and keep them extra safe so that's what that looks like and those are just all miscellaneous things it's all my stays on inks on the top and then you know in here I just have little body parts of dolls <laughs> um, toothpicks and wooden things more toothpicks I use a lot of toothpicks they're great to hold things down little tiny cocktail umbrellas tiny whatever you call those and all across the bottom are all marbles um, and these are underneath their marbles and then just uh, the rubber bands from the Dollar Tree for book binding so that's that and then it's got a little room on top so I have a few things these are books that someday my daughters and I are gonna put together um, and then more of my little jars that I make to hold my beads and then that one right there I made so many of these jars and I use them all the time and this one has been knocked off here at least 50 times whether it's there or over there or anywhere else so I don't think it wants to be here because that's the only one that's been knocked off and broken and it's I can't I used to fix it now I don't fix it I'm actually going to make a new one and put it there and then behind there is all of my beads <laughs> and the one thing that I did when I did all of my reorganizing and everything is I've had these beads here you know forever but they were never marked so it's like okay I need bead caps I would wind up going through and I'm not even sure how many there are here but there's over 20 of these and you'd go through over half of them before you would find the ones that you were looking for so you know if I was looking for glass I'd pull out all the crystals and if I was looking for crystals I'd pull out all the pearls so I did this time go through because I've always sorted them you know separately and um, but so I went through and I labeled every one of these so now it's just so easy to run over here and say I need some glass beads and just go through and look for the ones that say glass and just grab it out of there and boom I've got a glass bead so as a matter of fact I just put little crystals in my in the little fireworks that I bought because they didn't have any kind of a bead in there and if you ever have any kind of mica powders um, like I was beating the heck out of my hand trying to shake them up just stick make sure that it's like a glass bead with no coloring on it or a crystal bead or something like something made of glass and um, just throw one in there and it makes it work so perfect and I'll be back in just a second with underneath my desk okay so we just finished the beads and I'm just gonna come right over here we'll just do under my desk real quick and be done with this so this is where I sit right here and over here in this area this is just all storage it's extra little storage containers it is um, you know extra markers there's frames back there glass items to be altered that type of thing and then I have these rolly carts and in this rolly cart I have just little kid stencils in this drawer and then um, older miscellaneous stencils here um, this is my uh, ribbon iron and my glue gun and that's just a hair straightener works perfect to um, flatten your ribbon this is um, this is uh, a special paper and I use this for ATCs sometimes and then I have under there just wooden beads 
that can be used for necklaces and some old necklaces. And these are just game parts for mixed media. Coming over to the next one, these bottom two drawers are all these little frames for the slides. This is all drafting equipment. And these are just extra small containers. These are more small containers and small bottles. And then this is some um, foil glitter. I don't even know. I think I got this at the Goodwill Warehouse. And it's just little foil shreds. And then coming over here, um, these are just all blank CDs cases. This is my spray box. I just undo these buttons here and it opens up and I use that to spray in so I don't get it all over. That's something I spilled on my carpet. Don't tell my husband. <laughs> no, he knows. And then these are just CDs just for crafting with. And then I have school supplies, so that would be things like erasers, um, pencils, rulers, down under that. These are blank stickers, and then little glass votive candle holders there. And then over here, these are just some um, beads that I made. Not even beads, but just like embellishments. And I made those with like homemade dough that you cook. These are picture frame holders. Um, or things to hang pictures on the wall. And those ones I knew were down here somewhere and I couldn't find them like forever. Finally found them. And then these are just again all different types of picture frame hangers and hardware type stuff. I like hardware type stuff. This box right here, just pull this one out. And this box holds my jelly prints. So jelly borders and regular jelly prints and parts of jelly prints. So that works really well to have a place to put them because, you know, you always wind up with a ton of them. And put my cord up there. And then this is, this is where the cat sleeps. These are just some glass towels from the hardware store. This is my garbage can. Move that out. And then here I have, this is um, miscellaneous paper. Mostly like handmade paper and that type of thing. And specialty paper, I guess you would say. A piece of chipboard here. Move this stuff out of the way. Oops. This is all parts and pieces. Just um, die cuts. And then this one is 12 by 12 whatnots. There's calendars in there. Pretty much that's, I think, mostly calendars and um, some large size handmade paper that I couldn't fit anywhere else. Of course, got to have your toilet paper to do your crafting. And you've got to have your baby wipes. And then these are my 12 by 12, um, what do you call it, paper pads. I keep my loose paper. These are just all paper pads. I keep my loose paper and my paper thing over there. And then I keep all of my pads here. I don't have a ton, ton of paper because, um, you know, I'm not a scrapbooker or anything. So I guess I just don't need it. And then down next to this, I just have, whoops, I just have some books. I just got this book for like $2 at Schuler's Bookstore. And um, I bought it and I came home and set it on the table. And Grandpa, who can't see... And we had company, um, looks at the book and goes, big ass book. <laughs> and it's just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you just said that. So, but this I thought was just a really cool book. And it just has like a lot of cool different, um, just different things to mess around with or whatever. So I thought it was cool and it was really super cheap. So these are just a few paper crafting books and these are um, some books with really beautiful pictures in them and then they have a CD so you can print out the pictures. Um, the only thing I found was that like when I printed them out they didn't turn out as pretty as the the picture in the book but that's okay I just copy them and since they're made to print off the DVD that goes with it there should be no problem with copying them and using them. So and then here's my last set of drawers and I just have plastic whatnots 
and then miscellaneous metal items, you know, like a big old belt buckle and a little ball, just metal things that can be used for mixed media. These are just all glassine bags. These are all puzzle pieces, some of them sorted by color. Over here we've got more puzzle pieces and ephemera. These are like all different kinds of uh, game parts for ephemera because I love games. Just some little embellishments and then hmm, paper bags. And then over here, this is just it was a light that I got and I took it apart and I thought these were really cool. So those are just in there. And then this is glass and metal blanks. So things that are, um, you know, just flat to do something with. These are my good wood carving tools. And then these are eggshells and goose eggs. So, and then we're back over to where I just have the different, I thought these were cool. I got these at clearance somewhere, and they are glass or crystal or whatever, so, and I hang those in my window to shine um, rainbows around the room. I think I got like five of those. So, but right now I, my window's not big enough to really put too many, and I already have two or three in there. So that's it, and on top of those I do keep a few books and that type of thing. Those are little bottles. Um, this is my original 12 by 12 paper holder, and it is still full of paper. So when I first started, probably four or five years ago, doing the paper stuff, I started there. So that's my desk, and I hope that you enjoyed the tour. I don't know for sure if I'll come back and do just a walk around the room, but I may do that. But, yep, this is where I sit, and I just love all of the colors and just having all of the little whatnots around me. And, yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.